In Roland Design software, there are preloaded artwork that you can use in your project. There are seven different pages of images to choose from. If you would like to add more to this collection, you can do so. First, you will need an image that's a JPEG or PNG. You will also need to convert this into an SVG file if you do not already have one available. To do so, go into Illustrator. First, start a new file. It is best to set your artboard at 100 by 100 pixels. For this project, I will title it as Turtle. Make sure to set your page to Essentials Classic mode. Now, let's go ahead and place the turtle image onto the artboard. Once you place the image, it may be larger than your artboard. Go to Objects, Artboards, and Fit to Artwork Bounds. Next, hold the Control key and Minus key to minimize so you can view your image. Click on the image, Object, Image Trace, Make. For this particular image, it's a little bit more intricate, so do not be surprised if you get this message. Next, go to the preset setting for image tracing and change it from default to silhouettes. Once done, go to tracing result and click on expand. Lastly, click on the image and click on fill and choose black. Click on stroke and choose transparent. It is very important to do this step. Lastly, save the file as an SVG file. On this window, leave the defaults and click OK. Here is the SVG file that was just saved. Now, let's copy the JPEG image of the turtle. It will be saved on the local disk or C drive. Go to Program Files, 86. Locate Roland Design Software. Resources folder. Unpacked folder. Unpacked folder and shop photo file. The image file goes in the thumbnail folder. Paste the image here. Now, let's locate the SVG file and let's copy it and paste it in the right folder. Use the back arrow and the up arrow to get to the correct location. Click on the original folder because this is where the SVG files are housed at. Paste the file here. Let's open up Roland Design Software and click on Artwork. The JPEG image or thumbnail is now populated. Click on it and click OK. The SVG file has been loaded and now you can design just like you would with the other artwork files. You're able to change colors and design accordingly.